What else would you call it? Actually, nobody's been able to say what you're supposed to call it. If a lawyer puts in a bill or an invoice and you pay the bill and in the book, it's a little line. That's a very small little line. I don't know if you could even write more than two words. It's not like you could tell a life story. They marked it down to a legal expense. This is what I got indicted on. Think of it. I got indicted. I'm the leading candidate. I'm beating Biden. I'm beating the Republicans now. I have the nomination. And this is what they try and take me off the trail for. That checks being paid to a lawyer. He is a lawyer, or was a lawyer. And also the things he got in trouble for were things that had nothing to do with me. He got in trouble and went to jail. This had nothing to do with me. This had to do with the taxi cab company that he owned, which is just something he owned, and medallions and borrowing money and a lot of things, but it had nothing to do with me. He represented a lot of people over the years. But they take this payment and they call it a legal expense, and you heard it today for the first time. This is what I got indicted over. This is what took me off and takes me off the campaign trail, because I should be in Georgia now. I should be in Florida now. I should be in a lot of different places right now campaigning, and I'm sitting here. And this will go on for a long time. It's very unfair. The judge is conflicted, as you know. It's very unfair what's going on. And I should be allowed to campaign. And whoever heard of this? You got indicted for that? People in the court just said to me, I can't believe it. This is the case. So we did nothing wrong. The other thing is, if this were such a Great case. Why didn't the Southern District bring it? Who looked at it, turned it down? Why didn't uh, numerous other agencies and law enforcement groups look at it? Because it was shown to everybody. And very importantly, why didn't the federal elections do anything about it? Because this is federal, it's not state. They're trying to make it a state case, whatever. And it's not state, it has nothing to do. It's never happened before, I believe. It never happened before. This has never happened before where the state tries to insert itself in federal elections. Never, nobody's ever seen it. But you know federal elections took a total pass on it. They said essentially nothing was done wrong, or well, they would have done something about it. They're tough. They would have done something about it. But they said nothing, and they said, we're going to take a pass. Because they couldn't even believe it. Actually, if you read their, their letter, they couldn't even believe it. it they were incredulous. And yet, Bragg picks it up. Now, with Bragg, if you look, when he first came in, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. Now, when are they going to look at Pomerantz and what Pomerantz did? Because that's bad stuff. And when are they going to look at all the lies that Cohen uh, did in the last trial? He got caught lying in the last trial. So he got caught lying, pure lying. And when are they going to look at that? Now, we'll go to another subject because just a few blocks away, as you know, they had a trial on the $175 million. That's Letitia James. It's all coming out of the White House, by the way. And that's in front of Judge Ngora. And the judge really didn't know anything. He didn't know about collateral security. He said, supposing it goes down. Well, it doesn't go down because it's cash. I put up $175 million in cash, and we have a bonding company do it. And he challenged the bonding company that maybe the bonding company was no good. Well, they're good, and they also have $175 million of collateral, my collateral. But the judge didn't know anything about it. He didn't know what the $175 million cash meant. He had no idea what anything meant. And he had no idea what he did in the trial. And he charged me hundreds of millions of dollars on something where I'm totally innocent. But if you look at what happened today, Judge Engoran should not have done that trial. It should have gone to the business division, where they have complex business trials. But actually, it should have never been brought, because I didn't overestimate. You know, they say I overestimated. If you look at the numbers, they're underestimated. I underestimated. I did the opposite of what they said. And the reason that they tried to, and they did it for their own narrative, they valued a billion dollar asset at 18 million dollars. They valued other assets in as little, so in order to build their narrative. They want to build a narrative. But if you look, and I have a complete 
a record of what happened. Judge Ann Gordon had no idea what was going on, didn't understand the most simple concepts. And this is the man that took a case, and this is why businesses, are, they're moving out of New York, because they can't be subject to this. They'd be put out of business. They're moving out of New York because of it. But Judge Ann Gordon had absolutely no idea what had happened. He didn't realize we put up 175, but when he found out we put it up, he said, what happens if it goes up or down? I said, it doesn't, or they said, it doesn't go up or down, it's cash that we put up, all cash. Very few people could do that. And the deal was approved with the Attorney General, if you can believe that. But the deal was approved. She just tried to embarrass everybody, and she tried to embarrass a very good bonding company by saying, they weren't credit worthy. Well, they were credit worthy, and what was more important is they had a security, $175 million that I put up. But the point here is that the judge had no idea what was happening. And this is the same judge that two months ago made a ruling that shook the world. It shook the world because everyone knows going to that trial, I did nothing wrong. And over here, I did nothing wrong also. This is a Biden witch hunt to keep me off the campaign trail. So far, it's not working because my poll numbers are higher than they've ever been because the public understands that it's a witch hunt. Thank you very much. Mr. Trump, what was it like hearing the Access Hollywood tape? Are you worried about Stormy Daniels testifying against you? Where's Melania?